Hello everyone, a good day to you all and thank you for joining me in another spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4 In a new spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4 Well, we are going to take a look to the Japanese Chinese theater in this spotlight And for all of you who want to support me, feel free to do so on Patreon uh, You can, the well, link is down below in the description, go sure to check it out If not, tell me what you think of a Patreon page if not, I still uh, thank you uh, for your views and for your subscription to my channel, that's also enough for me already. But nevertheless, support would be greatly appreciated. So let's take a look here first. So select scenario. You are supposed to play it from the 1936 start, not from 1939, so from 1936. As Japan. Well, let's take a look to the world map first. Well, the colors changed massively, so the colors of the all countries have changed, well, not in America, apparently, but it changed in, well, Europe, especially. I just looked at Polish color to the French color, to the Soviet color, which I actually like more. So now you won't confuse the Soviet color with the British Rush color anymore. So, before we take a closer look to, uh, well, the Chinese countries and to Japan, let's take a look what the mod description tells us. So. Uh, well, description, it's a really huge one, so I will only read the first bit. If you want to read everything, you can check it down below in the description. Therefore, let's go. Description, the mod is currently on hi hiatus due to personal issues. I will get back to modding whenever I'm available to do so. The Chinese Focus 3 is not finished yet. What this mod is for? What, the, what is this mod for? This mod aims to create a more realistic Asian theater of World War II. Which the vanilla game is severely lacking, I agree, the vanilla game is really severely lacking, well, an Asian theater, well, realistic Asian theater at all. So, what does this mod do? Ideology. Adds a new ideology called socialism. The ideology has its own political advisors and political events. The generic feature of the ideology is finished, but the flavors for majors is still WIP. Socialist countries may or may not have elections. It depends on how you react to the political events. To the political events, the counter is fixed by Chairman Mio Mod Link. All right, the regional flavor. Japan, a brand new focus tree. The leader of Japan is now its prime minister instead of the emperor. Political advisor overall also adds and replaces several military advisors. Reworked the parties and added a few election events, which indeed happened. A series of both historical and po potential events, including the February 26th incident, a Showa restoration, A, B, C, D, and settlement, Sino Japanese alliance, and more. Japan can now make the historical puppets through focuses. Adds East Hebei Autonomous Council, and Mengoku is now replaced by East Shahar Autonomous Region. Mengokulo, officially Menjiang, was not created until 1939. Before that, it was the East Shaha Autonomous Region and the Mongol military government, which can be created through focuses. Still, there are several other provisional governments, public governments, that are missed out. I might add them in the future. Well, that's about the uh, regional flavor for Japan. There is a bunch of Chinese regional flavor, other and the Korean and the South Asian one. And a huge to-do list and a special thank you list, so uh, go sure to check it out. Reading it all out would simply be boring, I think, since it's so insanely much. Let's take a look, though, to the Chinese country. So, well, Republic of China's borders have been modified. There is a new country called Habai Choha Political Council, a country called East Haibai Autonomous Council, the East Choha Autonomous Region, then the Shangji Zhuzhuang Army, the Chinese Soviet Republic, the Ma clique, the Sichuan clique, the Republic of China, the Guangdong clique, the New Gangji clique, the Hunan clique, Xiqiang and French in China has been added to the game as well. As well as Malaya controls, well Malaya exists but it doesn't, it only controls this one province. I think it doesn't control the rest because um, well the mob isn't fully up to date but it's still fully playable, I can assure you that. So, uh, saying that, the Republic of China, let's take a look to the Chinese army's composition first before we go and take a look to the Japanese one. Therefore, also this mod is 115 megabytes big, large, so go sure to, well, have a good internet connection. If not, it may take some time for you. 
Last time, uh, last time this month had been updated had been the 5th of March. So, let's go to spectator mode first because I just want to look at the countries. There we go. So China uh, starts off with, well, of course, the internal language member of 263 million. So you shouldn't have any member problems as the Chinese with an army of 220,000 but only 21 factories, 5 military, 1 male and 15 civilians, so not much there. The Hebei Chahar political council starts off with an army of 62,005 military factories. East Hebei Autonomous Council starts off with an army of 4,002 factories. The East Chahar Autonomous region starts off with an army of 8,000. And exactly zero military factories. Well, the Empire of Manchukuo starts off with an army of 42,008 factories, 5 military and 3 civilian. The Shangji Sushuang army starts off with an army of 64,005 factories. The uh, Chinese Southern Republic starts off with an army of 42,004 factories, although it has total uh, sales requirements. Okay, the Mac League. It starts off with an army of uh, 34,004 factories. Sichuan clique starts off with an army of 75,007 factories. Shikyang starts off with an army of 14,000 factories, so we have good luck playing that. The Hulang clique starts off with an army of 54,004 factories. New Gangji clique starts off with an army of 72,002 factories. Uh, um, but, and the Gangdong clique starts off with an army of 54,005 factories. And then there's French and the China with an army of 24,002 factories. So that's about the French and the Chinese. Well, they're of course a colony of the Japanese. What Tibet and Xinjiang hasn't, haven't been modified. Oh, well. Therefore, let's go and play. So let's take a look to the Japan and actually let's go back and create a new game. Well, the question now is for this spot, let's create a historical or an un or an unhistorical game. So an unhistorical game. So let's see Japan. Well, historical AR focuses yes or no. Well, because spotlights, let's say without. I don't care. We won't attack, we won't do a mistake, we won't attack the allies, we won't attack the USA, therefore, yeah, we won't attack them, so we shouldn't, yeah, need actually any historical focuses. Let's see how well unpredictable the game can become as Japan. Let's go ahead into the game as Japan on historical. Well, I did some historical research as Japan. Uh, it's about the February 26th incident, because this one is quite hard to understand. It's still playable, but it's still better if you know some of the historical background of this modification. Therefore, yeah, I suggest you to well check it out as well. It will be simply nice to know more about the Japanese historical background. Alright, so, was well that? Let's finish our production here. We certainly need lots of, well, oil. What? 24 oil? That's... That's quite a bit. Well, I think... Uh, is there nothing which doesn't require that much oil? Okay, everything actually requires much oil. Therefore, we have to get 19 oil. 19 oil, fine. Let's get it 19 from the Soviets, since they are closer to us. The Soviets, we need uh, 3 aluminum from the uh, Soviets as well. We need uh, how many? How much rubber? 6 rubber and 6... Steel. Steel we can get from the Empire of Manchukuo since they are our puppets, so they are forced to give it to us for only one factory. There you see 70 already from the Empire of Manchukuo. So that's. Well, we saw the focus tree. The main effort here is the focus tree. The, the, the focus tree is insanely, insanely huge. Sono, Tokan, Plaket, the military. So I did some historical research. Just for you, and if you want to go the historical path, you have to go uh, this placate the military path here. Because this path is getting uh, democratic and uh, socialist, which is a really, um, which is a really, well, small path, so I wouldn't suggest you going that. If you want to go historically, you have to go the placate the military path, and you have to defeat Kadoha, the uh, military uprising, which will happen on the 26th of February. But... We uh, won't do this, and uh, we will actually go ahead. Strike the USA. No, I don't. Strike the USA. We will 
do the solo tokan we have to and then just look to that just look to that the show wa Restoration and will give us a minus 40% research time for land doctrine, manual doctrine, air doctrine. Minus 40%. Then increase political power gain. Then plus 500 political power. Then also for the emperor. So increased organization and recovery rate, which is great. But the problem is that the emperor can actually refuse the restoration. Therefore, we have to apparently to the mod get political advisors trusted by the emperor in order to well to influence his decision. Therefore, I've uh, until this day, I never saw such a well nice feature. This feature is really nice. I never saw that feature such a feature in any mods, because if you well like the feature is basically about if you don't take some precautions that you will uh, suffer like we would suffer with minus 35 base national unity and minus 250 political power which we certainly want to avoid therefore we will actually uh, get some cabinet ministers trusted by the emperor but i don't really know who the emperor trusts so i, I would need to find that out anyway let's start with the industrial efforts here industrial efforts well since we only have 18 available civilian factories we have to certainly increase our civilian factory outputs therefore we will build more civilian factories in japan yeah that's our goal uh, uh, we have all the equipment yeah the ships they won't be uh, replaced yet so let's research as always industry industry also i'm playing with the uh, experiment research mods somehow the game didn't want to research without this so i had to play with it and i can really only suggest to you to play with this as well it's simply great fun and really improves the game experience so uh, uh let's see actually on high speed well the thing is we know we are smart we oh what's that democrats Demand a referendum, uh, round them up or just proceed as usual. I would say just proceed as usual. I don't want to lose any power there. Uh, well, I was gonna say, since we know that we are not really going to get attacked from, uh, well, any strong countries with a strong army, we can simply, simply send our entire army away from the islands to garrison them and we can safely send them to fight the Chinese, which will greatly improve our efficiency. Since you know how the AI works, the AI will covers every border of them, so they would cover all of the borders, while I won't care covering the Mongolian or Soviet border, because I, I, I simply know that they won't attack me. And if they want to, I will I'll get a event, so was it, 1936 general election. Let the citizens decide, and who won? Minnesota victory. Despite the growing tension between the military and the government, the general election was held somewhat peacefully yesterday. The election result, which came out in the morning, shows that Minnesota emerged as the largest party in the election. The leader of Minnesota will be appointed prime minister in several weeks. Power shift within the democracy is always a good thing. Minnesota. Yeah, Ricky and Minnesota has 80%. That's. I don't know why there is a 10% independence party. I have no idea. It's. Not aligned apparently. So the February 26th incident, how I told you. So the fe I will uh, read you a bit from Wikipedia first. So oh, I closed the link. Sorry, January 26th February incident. Well, this was an attempt. Come on, it's open. February 26th. Uh, Japan. Damn it. Um. All right. So uh, the. February 26 incident uh, was an attempt to coup d'etat in Japan on 26 February 1936. It was organized by a group of the young imperial Japanese army officers with the goal of purging the government and military leadership of their factional rivals and ideological opponents. So, so we will, and coup d'etat was carried out uh, by over a thousand troops of the imperial Japanese army yesterday. Several uh, reading politicians are killed and the center of Tokyo is occupied by the rebelling troops. What measures should we take as a response? So we can either crack down the rebels, rebels, which would mean, which would stop the coup, but it would lead you uh, to only a, a one of those paths. Path. But since we want to go for the solar token for the spotlight, which is the far superior one, in my opinion, we will reshuffle the cabinet, which will lead to success of the coup. So, reshuffle it. 
And there we go, including that was carried out by the thorn troops of the Imperial Japanese Army yesterday. Several leading positions, including the Prime Minister, were killed and the center of Tokyo was occupied by rebelling troops. The Emperor, in response to the coup, has decided to reshuffle the cabinet. The cabinet. A lot of experts say that this would give the rebels a significant chance to topple the current government, but no one is sure what will happen next. Worrying, worrying, worrying. And Prime Minister Okada assassinated. Oh no, Okada. Oh no. The recent coup of young revolutionaries has caused tremendous chaos throughout Japan. The Prime Minister Keisuke Okada, unfortunately, has been one of the major victims of this horrible incident. Prime Minister Okada was found dead at his re own residence after a raid executed by the rebels. Today is a dark day for Japan. Very. Black Day for Japan and Kodaha victory. The coup led by Imperial Bay faction, also known as Kodaha, has been successful due to a sudden count reshuffle ordered by the Emperor. Intentional or not, today has marked a new chapter for Japan. For the Emperor! For the Emperor! So now we are called Imperial Japan and we are led by Kodaha. So we are actually fascists. Jin, Jin Zaburu Mazaki is the leader. He uh, had been killed, in fact, but since we decided to act differently, he, well, managed to survive, so congratulations. Good for him. So, industrial efforts, let's also uh, do the puppets for the Mongols. After the secession from China, we should bind the Mongols stronger at us. Uh, yeah, so they will, so this region will get replaced. I mean, they have zero factories, wow, that's okay. Oh. Our army is uh, uh, where? Um, well, get sent them to the Korean Peninsula. I think I sent the other part away. Yeah. So our armed forces here they consist of in total how many divisions? They are right, in seventy-five divisions. That's quite a bit. Well, just uh, imagine all the seventy-five against the Chinese. This would just mean their death. And probably for the Mongols. Now it's replaced by the Mongol. Autonomous government I'll assign them against the uh, highway political region. Now let's actually get the army primacy because of the four factories before we continue with the other focuses. We certainly need factories, and then we will, as I said, do the Sono Token, which will take us 175 days though. But I have to play slow, not a speed 5 or speed 4, since. Um, since uh, we may go to war against China soon, but we can yeah, speed up for now. So we have 183 ships in total, is that correct? Uh, yes, we have 191, so we have some down below here. Uh, let's send them up there. We have four divisions here. We will use them, of course, and against the Chinese. And the Spanish Civil War declared war on Spain. I, do this I think I will invade them with 10 divisions from uh, Taiwan. Yeah, I think I'll do so. It's really close, therefore invading that would be a nice idea. So, research not available. Hacker computing. And yeah, we can perhaps speed it up by slight bits. Uh, uh, right. So. I promise you after that we'll execute the Sano Tokan, which will greatly improve Japan's, well, prestige, I think. Well, Kabinet, you have to choose Kabinet Ministers. I have really no idea who is actually supported by the President, by the uh, Emperor. So I have no idea who to choose. Uh, well, we have to choose some trust by the Emperor. Uh, remove obstacles for the Emperor. A brand new Kabinet has been established, but most the corrupted and delusional officers around the Emperor has still not been removed. A full-scale purge is needed to completely eliminate the bad influences on the Emperor in governments. Do we have to? Well, let's see. Industry first. Mm -mm. Alright, so I'm gonna select 10 proper divisions actually uh, to invite... Uh, okay, this one. Moko Hoshe Shin Shijan. We have lots of cavalry units as well, you can see, but I'm gonna select pristine infantry divisions to invade them. What's that? Threats? Threats to the Kokutai. After several discussions within the Kodoha, several major threats to the Kokutai have been specified with 
and already held captive along the execution of the coup. The sooner we eliminate them, the better we can secure the Kokutai of Japan. Any last words? Uh, what we are gonna remove Hideyu to Toyo, Hishashi Torchi, Makuno Nobuki, Yoshiro Umezu, Hajime Shugima, Ozami Nagano, Isuroku Yamanato. You get all those purged. Minus 50% division organization. Wow! God damn it. So the purge is not good against the uh, Forge of Power. That's for sure. Any last words? Well, let's kill them. But that's bad. For more than one year, our army will suffer. Uh, well, we may start the war actually later then, because our army is in major problems now. Well, I mean, the Soviets purged them, but so did we. So the Soviets aren't the only ones doing purges, we'll have to admit. So we can't them, we can't tell them that purges are bad, because, well, guess what, we did them as well. <laughs> Alright, let's send them to Taiwan. Then we'll have to build more civilian factories in the well-developed areas, which are, uh, well, let's put it here in Chukuo. Also, the trial of Prince Kainin Kohito. Although Prince Kainin Kohito is a royal member and has not been considered a major threat to the Kokutai, he has been extremely against the doctrines of Kodoha and often served as an agent for the, of the Emperor to crack down on us. At this point, we can now either purge him for good or put him on house arrest. He is part of the royal family after all. Purge him, which would gain the royal member purged. Uh, I remove him. Put him under uh, surveillance, or we can't uh, treat our one member like this. Remove, well, he has a nice division defense, uh, therefore, yeah, well, let's put him under house arrest. Yeah, minus 8% purity, we won't be in there anyway, so, although, okay, let's, fine, let's take the hit and not treat him like that, not treat him like that, yeah. So, I'm gonna save up my power because I have to get, well, Advisors, uh, cabinet, cabinet ministers, which are trusted by the emperor. I really don't know who I think he is trusted, so I think it would be smart to get him to our cabinet. How was it called again? Uh, I actually don't know. Um, well, uh, I think where is he? Well, I've no clue, Sally. Uh, I don't know who where he is, Sally. He was here, I think. Army attack, yeah. Army defense, uh, the Prince Kai in Kohito. Okay, that's about that. So, 10 divisions ready yourself. So, which port do we want to invite actually? Let's say let's invade the port of. Uh, let's invade this area of Shanghai. It's really well populated. Shanghai, as well as Hangzhou. They're gonna invade these four provinces. Yeah. Okay, the infrastructure level is actually horrible. So, I have to send, I would say, one division away. Because of the bad infrastructure. There we go. Let's lower the speeds. The trial of General Saoji Kinmochi. Although Sajonji Kinmochi has originally been considered a major threat to the Kokutai, he, as last, as the last general of Japan, has been one of the most influential persons within the government and deeply trusted by the Emperor. Purge him right away may have serious consequences. Put him on house arrest may be the way to go. Kokutai is above anyone, um, we can't regenerate like this, put him under, um, will I recover over time? Um, we can put him under, uh, well, it would grant us him, I gotta go away, uh, it would, well, I'm gonna put him under house arrest, uh, now we would remove him, hmm. Well, we can't trade the last general, let's, well, be merciful and not trade members of the Royal family like that, I would say. It would not be a nice idea, I guess. And they are... Royal member, after all. We need 8 more oil. Let's get it from the Soviets. It's still too much. Come on, how... Okay, let's send one more division away then. The Kuma Ho Shei Xing Xiang. Ho Shei Shi Dan. Right, well, our 65 divisions here. Well, everybody Chama Council. Let's go ahead. Push already. Then research stuff wise improve our well military army focus here. Well, our navy is in its superior. In case of well war, I would say conflict against the Chinese, we should get complete naval supremacy. Therefore, I will divide up our navy now. I will separate out the submarines. 
separate them out uh, and to Hoku. Then we have four carriers, nine battleships, fifteen heavy cruisers, nineteen cruisers, and nine nineteen sixty destroyers. That's quite a bit, undoubtedly. I'll divide our navy when war is coming into four smaller navies. Yeah, that's our goal. I'll have to use every division I have, so yeah, against the uh, Chinese. They are still preparing. Yeah. Alright, let them prepare. Let's get uh, the decent general. Let's get General Tomoyuki Yamashita. Do we have a uh, commander one? No, we don't. For this buster. Let's get him. Engineer. Uh, rural attack is nice. Let's get him. At least 65. They will get the field marshal. Field marshal, we have two. Let's get uh, him. Shunruku Hata. There we go. Modify government. So the purge is done after six days. <coughs> but we have the officers purge. Minus 50% our organization. That's insane. And therefore, China can, can consider itself somewhat safe. I mean, they have seven military factories. That's not nice. I wish I could boost the popularity of the communists, but I can only boost the popularity of fascists within China. Sono Tokan. Then let's so either a new empire or a Showa restoration because of the huge benefits which the Showa restoration brings to us. I will get the Showa restoration, or the emperor might refuse the restoration. Well, I have no idea how can we even make it make him not refuse the restoration. I'll just uh, get uh, some uh, cabinet ministers. I have no idea though. I think. The last general is one who the emperor likes, so I will get him. I just think so. Let's get him. I'll not go for this since I need political power. I will go for and increase our naval production. Yeah, let's do this so we can play on the highest speed in the meanwhile. Research for the Weibel. Uh -uh -uh. Weibel detection. Let's yeah get our industry well research and the uh, fascists won the civil war. Surprised. Well, I will change the Shutonchi san to the uh, Hoshei Ho Hai. I mean, what is the difference of Tokritsu Kansai? Ho Hai Shidan. Uh, well, like Democrat revolutionaries. Yeah, they are really ineffective compared to the Ho Hai Shidan. Ho Hai, Ho -hai Shidan. Yeah, we have to change them, which would require, well, quite a bit of equipment from us. Just look to the sheer amount of these, uh, well, resumes we have. Well, we're gonna change them. Change them, at least some of them. Let's change this. Actually, let's separate all of the red ones out to do some effective uh, separation. So, well, after all, this mod is a really great mod. I don't know why it has only uh, that low subscribers. It's a great one. It's completely overhauls the Asian fiat and gives it a complete new, well, new feeling. That's why I can just suggest you to try it out. It's certainly great, and I'm sure you will like it. Yeah, but we have 38 in total, 38, there we go. Well, we may need them to uh, actually uh, garrison China at all, so I think I will <laughs> actually get new units, I just thought of that. Let's get them in Nagasaki. We need many, let's get although uh, 24, I would say, yeah, we need 21,000 equipment, uh, it's fine. We're gonna go for... Um, the infrastructure efforts and build more of these civilian factories. Here, Kavane Minister. So, um, which one could the Emperor like? Well, it would be nice if we actually knew who the Emperor would like. Well, we don't know it, so uh, fascist demagogues aren't workers. I think uh, the Emperor may like, uh, I don't know, him perhaps? I've no clue. Hmm. I'm just gonna get him because he's effective, and the emperor may like him. Well, it would—it doesn't tell us who the emperor would like. That's the problem, Sally. <laughs> you have to guess. Like, may you like him? May you like him or him or him? Well, we can't get that many because we lack the equipment to do so. So I will cancel the production of so many troops. Let's get yeah, 13 should be a decent amount. I want to modify them with sport artillery, but I cannot. Oh, we have 24 divisions actually only. Uh, I'm. Oh, we have one marine division. Mm, that's nice. I'm gonna send him to the province. And actually, it's time now. I think 
uh, to uh, do the Showa restoration within Japan. The Showa restoration in Japan. Let's before we do so though, we are playing on the high speed. It's really put, putting me under pressure because you have so many things to do. Let's get uh, more of the Congo class battleships. Auto, not auto, it should be deployed in Kanyo. Uh, let's get just every advisor we can because I really don't know. He isn't purged. So let's get to this armed workhorse. Let's get him for higher immunity. I have no idea how I said who the Emperor may like. Let's select the technology to research. Um, let's check clothing and special equipment for higher attack. And then we have three dockyards, so I wanna get let's get um, some carriers as well. Soju class carrier. Well, let's get battleships. Some strong battleships are the best way. Let's get heavy cruisers, should be fine. And therefore, yeah, now we are waiting and hopefully the Emperor won't deny it to us. I'm just gonna get whoever I can. Hopefully the Emperor won't say no. Because we want uh, our efforts to succeed after all. What the Emperor will force refuse the restoration despite the success of our acquisition of power. The current Emperor, uh, Hirohito, who had been critical of our political activities, has officially refused to support or take part in our restoration campaign for the Empire. Remove national spirit, show restoration. So now the focus tree is uh, well. We would have to go for a new empire, not for the show restoration. Well, so this is a problem since we don't know who actually. Well, I cannot reload the second because it's the third of August. So, well, I really don't know how you can make the emperor support you. You would have to try out, to be honest. I should have saved before, for example, but I didn't. Therefore, messing that path up for us early. But I can conclude. That this mod is a great overhaul to the J to the Japanese and Chinese theater. I would really suggest you to try this out and go show if, if you go my path to get more cabinet ministers, so the emperor won't refuse that. So with that, uh, thank you for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to link and to check the mod down below in the description. Link is always included. I wish you all a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.